MLB The Show has baseball from the Lone Star State as we get a look inside Globe Life Field. Today, it's the second of this three-game series between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Texas Rangers. Major League Baseball on the show starts now. Jordan Lyles gets the starting assignment for Texas in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matty D, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been, like, white hot. How about a whip under 1.00 in his last three starts? Not a lot of base runners, and that usually adds up to a lot of success. Let's see if he can continue to do that in this one here today. Brett Phillips will bat next. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Brett Phillips. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. And this pitch is right down the middle, strike one. Fellas, John John Rangers Johnston is now with streaming MLB after the, the show 2 1 Rays versus Rhino 6 5 2 1. They've been slumping of late, winning in just three of their last nine games. Yeah, Maddie, this place is buzzing right now. This team won the opener of the series yesterday, and they're looking to step on this team's throat and take the first two games of this series. That exactly. The third base, number two, Yandi Diaz. Next to stand in is Yandi Diaz, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. And we are in for a hot afternoon, 96 degrees at game time. That evens it up, one and one. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. Lifted down the line and left. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Brandon Lau, a real threat with the bat, of course, as he currently leads the American League in home runs. This guy's right in the prime of his career right now. The power bat speaks for itself. Nope. One of the more dangerous hitters in the game of baseball. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. 2-0 now. Lyle steps into his windup. Here's his offering. 3-0 and oh now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. Fouled away. Just underway in Arlington. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two-out walk. And with the bases empty and three balls, I think they were probably just saying, hey, we're not going to compound our mistakes here. Better issue a free pass and give him something to drive. Now to the plate, G-Man Choi. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. From the stretch. Ball match outside. The 1-0. Now a swing as he foul tips it here and right off his arm behind the plate. That hurts. Popped up. Kiner Falefa is under it. And that's the third out. So no runs here on no hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Now the Rangers will get their first crack scoreless. Brendan McKay is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Tampa Bay. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, you can't always judge a pitcher by the numbers. I know the ERA is into the fours coming into this start, but he's actually a pretty solid pitcher. And every once in a while, he can throw some decent games in there. It's not easy having an ERA under four in baseball. He's slightly over that. This guy's a better pitcher than that ERA indicates. And now here is Isaiah kiner Falefa. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. No swing apparently, ball one. 
And guys, the Rays, as they begin play here this afternoon, they come in not exactly setting the world on fire as they've dropped five of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Matty, the last game, uh, they, they, they got to wash that down the drain. They got absolutely boat raced by a big margin. They got to put that behind them, show up to the yard today, looking to fight. Everything changes once the first pitch is thrown. Stepping up is Delino DeShields. First pitch coming, here it is. One out, nobody on. Tries to drop one down here, but he misses. Strike two. High in the air out to center field. A Rosarena is there, two gone. And that will bring up the speedy outfielder David Dahl. First at bat for him as he enters play third in the American League batting race. Guy continues to swing a hot bat. Hit over 300 last month. We'll see if he can keep scorching here in this one. Inner third let go. It's a cold strike. Two and one to David Dahl. I don't blame him for not coming over the heart of the plate. He circled this guy on the lineup card when he got to the yard today. He's been swinging one of the hotter bats in the game. Ball even at two and two. Two out, nobody on. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground at the left side. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. I think a few of these folks need to get out of the sun. More from the show, Saturday Baseball, following this message and a word from our local stations. So now, here is Willie Adamas. He'll lead it off here to begin the second. Now, here's the first offering. There's a fastball missing down and away for a ball, 1-0. Shatters the bat as this is hit on the ground. On the first, and there's one gone here to start the second. That is good. The left field. Pinder. Up next, Chad Pinder. First pitch on its way. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1-0. One oh. Hard hit ball to second. Reined in. And there's out number two. Here's Randy Arozarena. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Lyles looks in. Here's the first pitch. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Grounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball, and it's 2 1 now. Lifted in the air out to center field. De Shields is there. And he makes the catch to retire the side. Rays go in order. One, two, three. We go to the bottom of the second. No score. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. He went deep in the contest last night. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Gallo. Hit sharply on the ground, and that's through for a hit. Legs churning, he's headed for second. And a good start to the inning for the Rangers. It's going to be a leadoff double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year, but you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. 
And here's the former prize Dodger prospect Willie Calhoun. And he'll hit with a chance to push across the game's first oh. run. Yeah, great RBI That's opportunity good. here. But at the very least, he needs to find a way to advance that run to the third. Small things like that in a tight game could make a big difference. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball. And not in time as the run scores. And this would have been just one heck of a play had he made it out there. But you see, he just couldn't get to that thing, and it winds up as an RBI double. Nate Lowe digging in now. Popped him up. Diaz over to his right. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Batting seven. The second baseman. So to get his day started at the plate, Nick Solak trying to get it going at the plate. It's been tough sledding for him so far this year. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take this one to the back for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Stepping in next, Shirt and Apostle. The runner in scoring position with Sugan. First pitch on the way. Nope. A ball and no strikes. From an offensive standpoint, this is where you got to push the throttle right here. You've had a couple hits in the inning. You've got a 1 0 no, no. count leverage. Let's see if he can gap something. Ready with the 2 0. In the air to straightaway right. Heading after it is Phillips. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. We play two. It's now 1 0 Texas. Here now is Mike Zanino. Lifetime versus Jordan Lyles. He's a 333 hitter. Mike. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Fastball in there for a cold oh, strike. One. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Line hard. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0-2. Into the windup and the pitch. Nope. Classic strikeout pitch right there on 0-2. It's the one we know he loves going to, but great recognition to lay off in that spot. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. Ready to deliver the 1-2. and two. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first down. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. And so watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. 190 is the batting average coming in. 14 homers and 30 RBIs. Nope, ball one ball. as he lays off below the We're zone. Ball one strike. Hit down the third baseline. Bases are empty. One man in. And he'll lay off right, the curve ball that's in the dirt that time. And it's back to even now at two and two. Popped up. Kiner Falefa is there. Two down. Now batting. So two are gone here in the Tampa Bay third inning. And that brings up outfielder Brett Phillips. Lyles looks in. Here comes the first pitch. And this misses outside and a bit high. One ball, no strikes. Bases are empty here with two men out. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2-0 now. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. 
This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Two and, one. two and one to the Rays' leadoff batter. The two one home it is a fastball and off the plate for a ball. Two out, nobody on. It looked like ball four there, but instead it's three and two now. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so so now we've got a battle on our hands. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Man, you hate to give up a two-out walk to anybody, but especially to a speed demon like him. Good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. And now in the box, Yandy Diaz flew out in his only at-bat so far. First pitch coming, here it is. Unable to find the zone with the slider. No doubt, this is a steal situation right here. Two outs and the leadoff hitter on first. This is the time you roll the dice and hope he gets in the scoring position where he can get a hit to bring him home. The 1-0. Good change of speeds, but he lays off two and one. Ball three. Takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike three now. Three three balls, well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. The three one takes a pass and misses that strike two. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Bounced weakly near the plate. That fears Elbow. foul, so they'll do it again on three and two. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Chasing after it is to Shields. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Ray's strand just the one. It remains one nothing. Now at the plate, Brugutera. And he comes into this one having hit safely in his last five games. First pitch on the way. Brugutera. Oh, one. Now one and oh. The one oh home. Swing and a liner. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first out. The batter number nine, shortstop, Isaiah. So it's back to the top of the order now. And into bat next will be Isaiah Kiner Falefa. First delivery to him. Nope. All one, no strike. Two balls. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. Now pitch runs in on him here, and all he can do is flare one foul off to the right side. Swing, and he pops him up. In there, a base hit. And now it'll kick around in the corner. The throw into second. The tag, and he is out at second. And here's the second generation big leaguer Delino De Shields. Hit in the air down the right field line. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Man, this guy is a blur on the base pass game. He was really boring around the bases. I think he had every intention of stretching that one into a triple. He definitely has the wheels, but the ball bouncing over for an automatic double put an end to any of those kind of thoughts. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Oh, and a good effort there to knock it down. Sure one of those superstitious guys, but a 13 game hitting streak seems like a pretty good number for this guy. Yeah, that's the old Baker's dozen right there. We're almost looking at two weeks of just. 
just stinking like a baby. I can't be, you're gonna hear me reiterate this throughout this street. I can't tell you, when you're swinging the bat like this, your food tastes better, your wife gets prettier, everything is just working. Two on, two out, four in here in the third. There's a fastball, pretty close that time, but ruled the ball, one and one. And he's keeping it down here, and that's a called strike two. Runners at the corners, two men out. Counts even two and two to Joey Gallo. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. He set the payoff pitch. And he watches a called third strike on the cut fastball that time, and that will retire the side. Rangers leave a pair, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Now to the plate, here is Brendan Lau. Worked a walk his first time up. Still a big bagel in that hit column, and this is where the frustration can start setting in on a team if they're not careful. It's never a good feeling when you know the guy out there on the mound is completely shutting you down. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here, down 0-2. He's attacking this hitter a lot more aggressively than he did the first time when he faced him and issued a walk, coming right after him here. On a good curveball, gets him swinging for route number one. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. G Man Choi, the next to hit. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. He popped out in his first trip. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Now the pitch. Now this pitch yeah, sails ball. up What's and right? in, and that leaves him muttering to himself. It's ball two. And it's fouled away. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a liner. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Boy, Dero, any time a lefty takes that pitch on the outer third and drives it the other way, you have to be awfully impressed. Yeah, you have to be. It reminds me of Will Clark back in the day taking that ball the other way. You have to be able to play with the whole field to have success in the big leagues. Willie Adamas is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Set and the 1 0 pitch to third. He's got it. There's one. He's out. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. That's how you roll it. Five to four to three. A double play sends us to break. More of the show. Saturday baseball after this. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And striding forward, the designated hitter, Willie Calhoun. Calhoun. And that misses ball one. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 and now. Hey, after the double in his first at-bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. One gone in the Texas fourth. And now here's Nate Lowe. First pitch on its way. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. And that misses one and one. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0-2. Didn't get it, though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on 1-1. One and, one. and a curveball is by him that time as he falls behind now 1-2. and two. 
Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Pro gets him, two down. Bases are empty here with two away, and that means Nick Solak will dig in. Now the first pitch. The windup and the 0-1. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. One ball, not a real strikes, good you know? pitch there, 0 and 2. Probably not what he was trying to do with that fastball. He was trying to miss probably up and away, and he threw that one down into the dirt on an 0 2 pitch. Very rich. And the right fielder is there to make the catch, and the inning is over. 1 2 3 go the Rangers. They lead it 1 to nothing. Welcome back to Arlington. Before we get much further, let's check in with Heidi. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said they've been chasing at pitches out of the zone all game, which obviously doesn't usually lead to good results. Until they start being more selective with their swings, he said they will continue to struggle. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. And that brings up Chad Pinder. Leading off for Tampa Bay. The left field. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2 0 now. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches, and when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. He's yep, falling behind now, out. three and one. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. And ball a good eye here as he ball. takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth now inning. Back. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across right yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. So the next to bat will be Randy Rosarena. Fly down in his first half bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Almost, Maddie. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. So now to the plate, Mike Zanino struck out in his first at bat. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Pitch out. Nothing doing. And now the Ranger bullpen swings into action. A lefty and a right-hander are throwing down there. Pitch on its way now to Zanino. Ball two. You thank your lucky stars when you get a chance to hit behind a guy with as much speed as he has on first base. The entire defense is on guard, and you know probably there's a fastball coming. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and zero. Oh. Kevin Kiermeyer will be next. A Rosarena stands at first with one out. Not a good looking 3 0 hack there. He misses it for strike one. Woo, that was an ugly swing. If I'm pitching right now, I'm throwing that same pitch again. That was ugly. The 3 and 1 pitch. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Well, they've struggled offensively in this one so far, but after that walk, they've got runners at first and second and look ready to make a little noise. Just need a big hit now. Stepping in once again is Kevin Kiermeyer. The base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. On the ground to the right side. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. Love everything about that play right there. Nobody's at fault. Just great execution by the defense. I saw the third base coach waving him around, and I totally agreed with it.
Into the box now, Brett Phillips, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls in his strike. It was a walk in his last trip. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. The set and the 1-1. One -one. Now a half swing here on the pitch inside, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the home plate umpire. Strike two. The 1-2. No runs, two hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Oh, this one bounces off the pitcher. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first, and that will put an end to the inning. A couple of walks in the inning, but nothing on the scoreboard. More from the show, Saturday Baseball, following this message and a word from our local station. half of the inning and that'll give way to the third baseman shirt and the puzzle and that misses for ball one in for a strike it's one and one popped into the air back behind second and Lau is there for the catch. There's one gone. So next to the plate for Texas, Drew Butera hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. A ball and no strikes. In there, and it's even at one. Hey, that's just a nice get me over curveball there to steal a strike. I don't think he was looking for that one. One ball and two strikes to count. One run, five hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. This is why it's so hard to be successful as a hitter when you fall behind in the count. One and two, you're probably expecting some sort of off-speed pitches, but when the pitcher offers up a good, hard fastball, it's pretty hard to adjust and catch up to. So now up steps Isaiah Kiner Falefa. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's one for two in this one. Taken and that one catches the bottom part of the strike zone. Two well executed pitches at the knees right there, but I know this hitter's looking for something up. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Rangers set down in order, but they lead it one to nothing. And that will bring in Yandi Diaz. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove. Yandi. Ready with the Hi. first pitch. Here it comes. How are you? I am trying to get to know quite people that play the game. Up to this point as we I follow the you. Can you follow He's me back? Quite well, but Please. you look at his first pitch strike percentage, less than 40%. That's going to be something he's going to need to clean up moving forward. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Curveball got him swinging for the first down. This is the kind of the bat where your hitting coach grabs you on the way back to the dugout to have a little chat about your approach. Not a lot of positives to draw from that at bat when you take two strikes and then you chase one out of the zone to go down on only three pitches. At the plate now, Brandon Lau. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He went down on strikes last time up. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. And that's into the corner a foul ball and right. Yeah you could tell he was ready for another fastball but the pitcher went to breaking ball and the hitter just fouls that one off. Can't get him to chase it's 1 and 2. Definitely not what you're trying to do here 0 and 2 with a curveball. 
You see a lot of guys elevate a fastball like that in this situation, but a curve like that is just asking to get punished. Another 1-2 delivery. I love these grinder at bats right here. Kind of a la Wade Boggs in the early 80s where he would just foul off strikes that he didn't want to hit and wait for that pitch he was certainly sitting on and drive it off the monster. Now the payoff pitch home. And he fouls this one off. Once again, a 3-2. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Back goes to Shields. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now so next to bat will be G-Man Choi. It was a base hit last time up. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. Over to first, and that retires the side. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Rangers one, the Rays nothing. of the sixth inning now and up to bat next to Lino De Shields. First pitch on the way. They'll start it here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. And that's right there and we're even at one. And he misses two and one. Into the windup and the pitch. Cutter got up on him pretty quickly right, there, and it's back two and to two. even two and two. High in the air down the right field line. Phillips is on his horse. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now back. Next, here is David Dahl. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. In there, strike one. Uh, you can tell this guy's got great feel for all his stuff right now. To break out that nasty hammer right there, this hey. guy's on point. In there, and it's 0-2 oh, oh, now. Man. Hey, it's a game of execution. If the pitcher stays right there, this lineup's going to continue to have a tough time. And they'll try to bounce now, a curveball on 0-2, oh, but he holds back. It's 1-2 and two now. Comes three. back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. He's not going to feel good about that at bat, nor should he. You have to want to swing the bat, but he just stood there and looked at four straight pitches. Hopefully, we'll see him get a little bit more aggressive next time. Here's Joey Gallo now. Ball one. Ball one. A hit in two tries for him so far. Inside and he falls behind the hitter now 2 0. Hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. And that's in there 2 and 1. He must know something we don't know. That was a center cut heater with count leverage in a big spot. I, I don't understand why he's taking it. Count even at 2 and 2. This one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Rangers. But they're up one to nothing. Joe Barlow is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 64. Now it'll be Willie Adamas. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. 
on the ground to the left side. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Up next for Tampa Bay. Now at the plate here the is Chad Pender. Yeah. It was a walk yeah. in his last trip. First pitch coming. Here it is. Strike taken as the curveball drops into the bottom part of the zone. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Behind 0-2 now. One out, nobody on. Still no balls and two strikes. Here's another 0-2. Didn't quite catch the zone there. Ball one. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Butera goes to get it, and he makes the throw to first. Pinder is retired, two down now. You know, professional catchers make those plays look easy most of the time, but that was a big play that shouldn't go unnoticed. Had he found a way on, he would have represented a tying run, so that was a nice job there to make sure that strikeout didn't get wasted. Randy Rosarena is at the plate as he looks at ball one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Ready with the 1 0. Bases are empty here with two men out. All no offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two, a little three. too tall that time. Three Got and one three now. One. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. He's set in the 3 1 pitch. Turned on, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. Three 2 pitch. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. No chance to make a play. Let's see if he's okay out there. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. So here's Mike Zanino. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. The count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. He's not concerned with striking out, so he's going to get his A swing off. Not in front of that one, but he stays alive, and will do it again on 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. One ball. Shooting for that low inside corner, but he missed with it. One and two. A Rosarena is off of first with two away. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Just not able to let that breaking ball travel enough right there. You could see his eyes light up when that popped out of the pitcher's hands, and he just took it foul. Here's another one, too. Fouled off. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. We've got ourselves an awesome battle going on right here. Bottom line, the guy who's going to win this situation is the guy who executes. Three ball, two and that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. 
good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. And this ball's pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. Racing back the left fielder. Gone! A two-run shot that gives them the lead. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Sixth home run on the season for him. And the Rays take a two-to-one lead. What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows. Finally able to get this offense potentially going with one swing of the bat. Being shut out all game, but not anymore. Your attention, please. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0 and 2. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The 0 2 delivery. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. Rays get a couple as you take another look at the two run home run. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch, and Tampa's taking a two-to-one lead. Welcome back to Arlington. Before we get much further, let's check in with Heidi. Matt, I talked with the Rangers manager during the inning break about the team's offensive production at this point, and he told me he feels like they're being too patient at the plate right now. He said the problem is they're allowing themselves to fall behind in the count way too often, which is forcing them to constantly be in protect mode and swing at bad pitches. A lot of their outs have come from at bats where they've fallen behind. So the focus going forward Your needs to be about being the aggressor now early in the at bats. Good stuff, Number Heidi. Thanks. Yasmero Petit Yismero. gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Riding in is Willie Calhoun. He bounced out last time up. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Calhoun. 0-1's the count. 0-1 count. Here's the pitch. This is driven to right. And no doubt about it. That one's way out of here. Solo shot here to straightaway right field. Seven home runs for him on the year now. As the Rangers are back in business, they tie it at two. Big time at bat right there. Team trailing and he ties it up with a bomb. Interested to see how this one finishes out. Standing in now, now Nate Lowe. The swing and lift the ball foul Nate. off to the left and out of play. Whoa. 0 for 2 for him to this point. A swinging strike, oh, and now it's 0 and 2. Man, I know exactly what this guy's feeling at the plate. Here we go again. Every time you're struggling, you look up, and it says 0 2. And the throw forces him to lay out for that one, but he keeps a foot on the bag to record the out. The second baseman. That'll bring in Nick Solak. In previous matchups with Yusmero Petit, he's one for five. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Phillips is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two up down. Next the the third baseman. Up next for the Rangers, Shirton Apostle. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. And he gets ahead 0 and 1. Hey, a changeup can be a pretty good pitch on the first pitch. Kind of slow down a good fastball hitter. Skied into straightaway right. Phillips is there for it. And he makes the play to end the inning. Yeah. 
One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. We'll march on to the eighth, and we are tied 2-2. Jonathan Hernandez has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 72, Jonathan Hernandez. New inning set to get underway and at the plate. Pitch on the way. <laughs> Swing and a miss on the Down. slider. Okay. He's quickly behind. Nothing in two. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty death. So it was a strikeout looking there. Brett Phillips goes down to become the first out in the eighth inning. Into the box, Yandy Diaz. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Now an off speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Outside, that's the goal. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch. Until he proves he can lay off of it. The 2 2. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back to back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. And now, Brandon Lau. As he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Hey. And the sinker is over here, and that evens things at 1. And he'll come back with 1 in the dirt as the count moves to 2 and 1 now. I tried to jerk that one, and it's 2 and 2. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Well, those were a couple of close pitches right there in the inner part of the zone. Hitters will tell you, pitches in that location are tough to do anything with. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out the side in order. Down in order go the Rays. And this game is still tied at two and two. Oliver Gray is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 53, Oliver Gray. And now, Drew Butera struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You can tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this evening. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. One and two to the Rangers catcher. The count is one and two. Ball Lays two. off two and two now. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he could go in right here. So it was a strikeout swinging. Ruby Terra comes the first out in the bottom of the eighth inning. So now to the plate, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Adamez scoops it up on the first, and there were two down. 
Next, Delano it'll be Delino De Shields. Delano. He flew out in his last Delano. debut. Now the pitch. This is on the outside corner for strike one. Two out, nobody on. Not cheated on that swing, but the splitters by him 0-2. You got to be paying attention as an offense in a hitters meeting in this situation. When you got a guy, but we'll have to press pause. Is that strike three to retire the side? The Rangers set down in order. Score remains two to two. Ready now is G-Man Choi. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Ninth oh. inning begins as the first Count pitch is taken for ball one. Grounded back up the middle. There's Connor Falefa. Throw on the first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Next up, Willie Adamas. Grounded out in his last at bat. First offering. That one bends into the zone. A strike on the breaking ball. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off-speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. And boy, no big ball. problems here to start this at bat. It's 0-2 now. I always felt this was the toughest pitch for me to pick up. A good executed slider, and that's exactly what happened right there. You get an ugly swing. One and two, here it comes. Ground ball left side. And this is going to find its way into left for a one out knock. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is, they're looking to line them. Yeah. Drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two strike adjustment, able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. At the plate, Chad Pinder. As the first Off pitch the sinker ball, yeah. misses to him, it's ball one. It's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Two balls and no strikes to the Rays left fielder. Clearly working the bottom of the zone, trying to get a ground ball for a double play. Now the 2-0. The ground is short. Could this be two? The second for one. Back to first, and he throws it away. And now, oh, this ball's going to wind up out of play. And a big mistake there. Yeah, I like the way he stayed right in there at second base, knowing he was vulnerable, but it definitely influenced the throw to first. Way offline, and he's going to get charged with an error as a result. It looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here with two away. Well, they felt it was better to take the bat out of the hands of a guy like that. He's just too dangerous, and they decided they'll take their chances with the next guy in the lineup. Digging in next, Mike Zanino comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Yeah, Matt, and going back to that last at bat when he hit the home run, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in the zone. So if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to keep the ball at the knees and below. He doesn't handle that low pitch quite as well. A ball and a strike to Mike Zanino. Outside, two and one. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. The 2-1 pitch. Swing and a miss, 2-2 two and two now. What a well-executed sinker right there. There's really nothing you can do with that pitch. You're either burying it into the ground or fouling it off your shin. Sinker, 3-2 and two now. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. 
hit high and deep to right center. Chasing after it is to Shields. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. One hit, one error in the inning, but they wind up leaving two. All squared up in Arlington through eight and a half. The Rangers have a chance to walk it off. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Digging in is the outfielder, David Dahl. Now a swing as he foul tips it here, and right off his arm behind the plate. That hurts. Hit sharply toward the right side. And this is down for extra bases. And there's your winning run moving into scoring position. Well, it's always daunting to know that you've got to deal with the three, four, five hitters to start out an inning, but even more so when the three hitter starts it out with a double. Yeah, he's going to have to start making some good pitches to get out of this thing. Job number one is to get the next guy, and ideally, you keep him from advancing the runner to third with less than two outs. Joey Gallo is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Choi is under it to make the catch for the first down. Big spot here, and it'll be Willie Calhoun. The winning run stands at second base. And a called strike down in the zone, nothing and one. Lying to the right side. That's in there. Base hit. The throw home. And the winning run will score as they walk off with a 3-2 victory. Well, that at bat shows clearer than anything that some guys, they, they have that clutch gene and some guys just don't. He brings home the winning run from second and is being absolutely mobbed by his teammates. What a finish. MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com.